The movie opens with a vast desert land in Qam, a city in Iran. The desert is protected by some Iranian soldiers, two men, Tom, who is working for the CIA and his partner, Oliver Pose as technicians resolving connectivity problems for the soldiers. Tom gets some breathing space and he uses that opportunity to bury a device in the wires for the CIA to monitor the activities going on in that area. One of the soldiers approaches Tom to question him on exactly what he did down there and Oliver tells him that his government hired them to fix their telephone wires and internet connection. The soldier still doubts what Oliver said and so to gain their trust, Tom shows them he has nothing on him, just his phone, which shows a football match. Tom and Oliver make it out of the place without suspicion. The CIA gains access to all their data and discovers that they produce nuclear weapons. They send the footage to their reporter, Luna, and immediately, she also calls for Zod to inform him the CIA has access to all the activities going on in Com. Tom and Oliver arrive home safely. Tom receives a call from his wife. She tells him about their daughter's graduation and for that, he promises to be present since he has almost always been absent in her life. In Herat, Afghanistan, a man named Dawood is allowed to pass without much information. With the help of Roman, his boss who lives in Dubai, later that night, the CIA caused an explosion at the site. Farzad visits the site with his boss, the Iranian leader. He tells Farzad to find the people behind the explosion. Tom packs all his stuff to leave for his daughter's graduation. The Pakistani ISIS leader calls Agent Nazir and tells him to find the people behind the explosion. Tom arrives at the Dubai airport. The time for his flight has been changed so he goes around and buys some gifts for his daughter. Just then, he gets a text from Roman inviting him to his place. He assigns him to a new mission in Afghanistan just like what he did in Com and doubles his money. Roman tells him not to worry about his daughter's graduation because he will be back in time before that. Tom accepts the mission and he pairs him with Dalwood, the man that is supposed to be his translator. Reporter Luna gets kidnapped in her apartment by some Iranians. She is sent to Farzad for questioning about the people behind the explosion. Farzad threatens to harm her daughter if she attempts to lie. Luna tells him what the CIA sent her, but he still thinks she is hiding something, so he locks her up again. Tom arrives at the safe house with Dalwood, and he briefs him all what the mission is about since he had no idea about it. The next day, Dalwood goes to visit his son's grave and mourn his death, saying if he had the chance, he would have died for him so that he would be alive. News spread everywhere about the CIA's operation and the kidnap of their reporter, Luna. The images of Tom and Oliver are also shown in the news as the technicians who were last seen on the site and for that reason, they are marked as suspects. Roman quickly calls Tom to inform him about it and tells him to abort the mission. His only concern now is to get him out of Afghanistan. Farzad and his men find Oliver and kill him. He then goes after Tom to eliminate him too. When he finally finds his location, he calls the boss and updates him about it. The Pakistani ISIS leader taps into their lines and hears all their conversation. He then calls Agent Nazir and assigns him to finding Tom. He tells him to be quick about it and make sure he grabs him before the Iranians because he wants to sell him in the open market to the highest bidder. Roman gets in touch with the CIA to assist him in bringing Tom back to London within 30 hours. Tom burns all evidence and prepares to leave for Kandahar in 15 minutes. When Dawood arrives, Tom asks him to also get ready because he is also caught in the crisis even though he was engaged to work as an interpreter. The two now have to run for their lives because not only are the Afghanis, Pakistanis and Iranians pursuing them, the Indians, Russians and Chinese are also on their tails and if any of the groups are successful in capturing them, especially Tom, he will be sold. Agent Nazir sets out to find Tom. The Iranians do the same too. At this point, the CIA can only help them when they get to Kandahar. They have to leave immediately. The CIA monitors Tom and Dalwood's every step to access their current location and send help. Tom and Dalwood leave the safe house in a white car. Farzad spots them and follows them. Tom leads them into the market and changes cars when he finds an unlocked car at the parking lot. Farzad and his men still find him and follow him. Two cars converge on the road and cause heavy traffic. Unable to move his car. Agent Nazir drives through the traffic and spots them. Farzad suspects that he also wants to capture Tom, so he tells his men to be on guard. Tom swerved out of the traffic and onto the sidewalk, scattering all the market stalls. Farzad's men quickly block his way, but he still swerves around them and vanishes. Nazir blows up one of Farzad's cars to avoid it getting in his way. Tom finds his way onto the highway leading to Kandahar, but he misleads them into the wrong direction. 
Some men launch more attacks on him on his way. However, he manages to take them down and escape into a desert. Nazir gets the hint that Tom is moving into a different direction. He turns quickly into their direction to catch up before they leave. Tom's car tire unexpectedly goes out. He stops the car and makes Dalwood change the tire while he scans the area for any impending attacks. Dalwood bitterly demands from Tom why all these groups are chasing after him. Tom then reveals to him he caused the explosion in Iran and these people will not rest until they capture him. Tom decides to go to an old friend in Delarum who can help them escape with a helicopter. He tells Roman about his plan. Nazir meets a little boy in the desert and shows a picture of Tom to him. Nazir asks if he has seen Tom around. The little boy says he saw them and that they were moving towards Delarum after he fixed his tire. Nazir thanks him and makes his way towards Delarum. When night falls, Farzad and his men find Tom and Dalwood still driving in the dark. Farzad's men start firing at them. Tom hands the wheel to Dalwood and fires back. Their fuel runs out and the car stops. They take cover behind the car. When the shooting ceases, Dalwood takes safety behind the rocks while Tom tries to explore ways to bring Farzad and his men down. He tracks their moment and launches an attack on the helicopter. The helicopter falls from the air and explodes, killing everyone in it including Farzad. Dalwood and Tom spend the rest of the night talking about their lives. The next day, Tom goes with Dalwood to see his old friend, Ismail. Tom asks Ismail to lend him his helicopter to help him reach Kandahar much quicker. Ismail reveals someone else started using it yesterday for an operation, but then he offers them a car. He takes them outside under a tent to have some food. There, Dalwood speaks up about Ismail being responsible for his son's death. Tom had no idea Ismail was the murderer behind the death of Dalwood's son. Ismail becomes furious and hands Dalwood a gun to kill him if he wants revenge. Tom tries to play the peace card between them, but Ismail asks him to stay out of it. Dalwood unloads the gun and tells him it hurts for his son to be dead, but he nevertheless forgives him. Tom apologizes for bringing him along and they drive away. Just when they leave, Ismail calls the Pakistanis and shares with him information about Tom's whereabouts. The Pakistani shares the intel with Nazir and he quickly calls Razul, a member of the Taliban, asking for his help in tracking Tom down. The Taliban successfully attack and trap Tom and Dalwood. Dalwood is severely beaten up for being an ally to their enemies. In a moment, another group arrives and begins to attack them. They call Nazir and tell him what's happening so that he can come for Tom before the other group does. The attacking group utilize their heavy weaponry to collapse the Taliban's building. They also fire back and blast their cars, killing some of their men. The attacking group break into the gate and make way for one of their men to enter. He gets to Tom and reveals himself. It's Roman. He came to their rescue with the help of some special forces from Afghanistan pretending to be ISIS. Roman gets Tom and Dalwood out of the place, but Nazir spots them leaving and gives info to the Taliban to attack them when they get to Maywand. The CIA continues to monitor their journey, keeping track to assist them when they get to Kandahar. Roman gets hit while trying to bring Nazir down. Dalwood gets him back into the car, but he rolls out of the car and sacrifices his life for them. Nazir still follows them, but he stops when the Taliban begin to attack them. They pull through for some time and later explode when they try getting to the gate. Nazir orders them to hold their fire so that he can pick up his target. When he gets there, Tom comes out of the car and shoots him. Tom apologizes to Dalwood for putting him through all of this. The CIA sees this and sets ablaze the cars of the Taliban. Tom and Dalwood take one of the cars and drive to the plane where the CIA agents were waiting to take them out of the country. Tom recalls the day he bid Oliver goodbye and Roman's selfless decision to sacrifice himself for them. Dalwood also remembers the day he visited his son's grave and tells Tom he will never step foot in his country again. Tom tells him he will and promises to help him find his wife's sister. The Iranian leader drops Luna at the Iran-Pakistan border and sets her free to go to her family. Farzad's wife hears the news about her husband's death and sobs sorrowfully. Tom's daughter meets him at the airport. He arrived in time to make it to her graduation. Dalwood also gets home. His wife and son show their happiness seeing him still alive. The End